Hi there, Lime Macedo. Speaking to you from LimeMacedo.com. Who is Lime Macedo and Think Personal Branding? Now, imagine this. You are at an interview, okay? You're just going for an interview. You make yourself get comfortable on a seat. The guy is sitting in front of you. And the first question that he asks, which all interviewers ask, is tell me something about yourself. Now, you might be surprised if I tell you this. The majority of candidates whom I have trained to go for interviews, when I've asked them, tell me something about yourself, almost 90% of the time, 99% of the time, they start giving me answers like this. Okay. Sir, uh, sir, my name is uh, Koshi Korean Kundi. My mother's name is Amma Apma. My father's name is Thomas Appa. I have four brothers, three sisters, two buffaloes, one dog and two children coming on the way. I completed my schooling in Chalaguri district in Trichur, Kerala. I did my university in Alapuri College. And then my first job, I started at Mamuti Lungi with uh, selling chicken wada sambar. And then I finally moved and graduated to being sales executive. Okay, son. Now, forget the accent. The fact of the matter is I'm a South Indian guy. I have bumped into so many South Indian chaps. Now, it's not just South Indians. The majority of Asians, what they tend to do is, they tend to give you this information that is completely unnecessary. Nobody cares about where you're from. Nobody cares about who's your mother, father. Nobody cares about how many brothers, sisters you have. Nobody even knows half the names of the schools and colleges and universities where you have graduated. So why are you stating all this? Here's the thing, which I want you to understand. Keep this in mind. Why a guy asks you, tell me something about yourself, is because he has not gone through your resume. He has not gone through your resume, and he wants you to start speaking, start expressing, start telling you things, so that he can find something to interact with you. It's a conversation. This is where... The first question that they ask you, tell me something about yourself, tests your ability to start a conversation. It's a conversation starter. Okay. So if you are asked this question, tell me something about yourself. Keep this in mind that you are asked to market yourself. You're asked to sell yourself. You're asked to express who you are. You're asked to get to the point, make him interested in you, get him engaged and make him open up to you so that he takes more interest in you. Because keep this in mind, the resume does not talk. It is you who's talking. And when you come for an interview, you need to tell the guy, you know, I'm a well-spoken gentleman. I know how to articulate my thoughts. I know how to sell myself. I'm passionate. I'm confident. I have charisma. I have rapport building skills. Uh, I'm a leader. I have uh, the ability to express and impress everyone. So that is what he's looking for. Now, obviously, the question is, no, but I have, uh, I have, uh, you know, uh, uh, South Indian style of speaking. Like, what can I do? What can I do? Here's the answer. If you want to learn how to pronounce the words, you need to know how to move with blah, 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 the lips. And what I suggest for that is, now, see, keep in mind, I'm a South Indian, typical Malayali, okay? So I had the Uga Booga Booga accent. I used to always have, yeah, yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, what are you saying? So in order to get the out of my system, what I did is I took this pencil, I put it in my mouth where I lock it with my jaw. I put it like this. Once I put it right in the back, I clutch it with my jaw and then I try to speak. So when I do this and I try to speak, Hi there, my name is Roy. As we can see, the lips are moving so that I'm able to force myself to articulate the words. Now, sorry for the spit, but what happens is it forces me to push the words, move my lips, you know, strengthen my jaw and, you know, communicate my thoughts more clearly. It takes effort. It takes a little bit of effort. But what happens is this helps you become a better communicator. So try doing this. So if someone asks you, tell me something about yourself, keep this in mind that you are being the salesperson who has to market and sell himself, make himself interesting, make himself engaging, make himself 
Uh, you know, the type of guy that the person would like to hear more because your resume doesn't do the talking, you do the talking. Now, what is the perfect answer for tell me something about yourself? One is the chronological sequence. The chronological sequence is where you, you know, move fast from the past, where you tell them, I was born and raised as a, in a conservative Catholic family where the values were very strong of integrity, of discipline, of punctuality. Um, I did my schooling in India and I completed my degree and master's with specialization in marketing in India. Okay. So in one go, you said I was born and raised in India. Okay. Um, in a conservative family, you can add that. Then you can say my schooling, my degree and the master's I completed in India as well with the specialization in marketing because I was passionate about it. So in three lines, you have given your complete, um, that is schooling all the way to your college. From there, you speak about your career path. Say that my career path, could um, I could divide it into three, three major breaks. The first one was when I started my career with the banking sector. Then from there, I moved to the event management side. And third, I was with sales and marketing. And it was pretty interesting because in the banking sector, I learned the values of uh, being concise, being to the point and understanding the importance of, uh, let's say, high ticket clients. Uh, when I moved into event management, I learned the, the beauty of discipline and the pressure and the stress that come that comes from, uh, you know, being on uh, being under the spotlight. And the third one was customer sales and service, where today I learned the importance of maintaining and retaining relationships. So. You know, by saying this, this um, by giving them a summary of your career path into three points, always remember three points, three is the way to go forward. What happens is the guy is still engaged. Then from there, you move on to, um, if, I were to um, if I were to express myself much more in terms of being a professional, I would say my core competencies are managing teams, sales, and optimization of processes. My strengths are being absolutely obsessed about the targets because work is worship and that is what I believe. If I had a weakness, I would say I don't know Arabic and uh, I practically hate taking uh, uh, time off from my family. That is, after I finish work, I have to be with my family. Currently, if I had evaluate myself, I'm at a juncture where I'm contemplating whether I should take up an MBA and um, also uh, see what can add more value to my uh, my my face of being a mid-level manager and then future i've set myself goals whereby i have personal goals which involves being physically fit uh, i have family goals where i want to spend more time with my family and financial goals where i want to save for my child's education so here what you have done is you have broken down different segments of your personality different segments of yourself and you have tried to portray yourself as a balanced individual you stated your strengths, you stated your weaknesses, you stated where you are currently, you stated where you are moving in the future. Then towards the ending, you can encapsulate the whole thing by saying, so if I were to, you know, just summarize on a personal level, I would say that I'm currently uh, happily married with two wonderful children. Uh, we stay in Dubai, which is, you know, a few kilometers away from here. So that makes it pretty close for me to come to work and go back home. So, you, you know, this is the most basic answer. This is the most basic answer that you can give. If I were to say it again, chronological sequence, say where you're born, you finished your high school, you finished your college, then you move your first job, your second job, your third job, then you move into core competencies, your strengths, uh, sprinkle down a little bit of weakness, say where you are currently, stay where you are in the future, and just encapsulate it saying on a, prof uh, on a personal level. Okay, that's a chronological sequence. So now comes the functional uh, uh, functional sequence. Okay, the functional sequence is by far one of my favorites because what it does is it gets to the point. Now imagine this: the guy is sitting across the table. He's asking me, "So you know, Lloyd, just just tell me something about yourself. You know, just let's just have as a conversation. You know, I don't want to go through your CV." So what happens is I am very clear about who I am. I'm very very clear as to what I bring to the table. And when I speak, I don't normally go, you know, I was born in this place because he doesn't give a damn where I was born. He doesn't give a damn which degree that I did or completed. He doesn't give a damn what's my first job, what's my second job. If I worked as a sales executive, as a receptionist, as a manager, he doesn't care a damn. What he cares about is how can I add value to his organization? How can I make him realize that he needs me right now? 
so when I go for something like uh, an interview, an interview where we are talking of a business deal. So the guy, will ask, so tell me something. You know, so I tell him that I specialize in personal branding. By personal branding, what do I mean is each and every employee in your company represents two aspects. One is the leadership and the communication aspect. On the leadership front, he needs to take the initiative in order to bring in more revenue and business. And on the communication front is how he um, how he talks about the company, how he talks about himself and how he communicates the company's values to the entire world. So I merge both of them together to ensure just two things. One is you cut down your costs and second one, you increase your revenues. So obviously the next question you'd be like, okay, and how do you propose that? See, what is happening is as I'm speaking to that guy, I am trying to engage in a dialogue. I'm trying to make him ask me more questions. Like, for instance, I would tell him that, you know, I've been doing this for the past 11 years with companies like Petrofac, Oracle, IBM, Emirates Airlines, Etihad Airways, LG Electronics. And what, we, what I've done successfully in all these companies is conduct a training program in-house whereby you will dedicate one day. See, this is where I'm, again, selling myself to him. You'll have a training program for one day. Uh, you would get to see your own employees out of their comfort zone where they'll have to talk about the company. They'll have to talk about the products. They'll have to talk about the services. And you will be there judging each and every one, knowing where do they stand in terms of communication? Where do they stand in terms of leadership? Where do they stand in terms of creativity, in terms of presentation? And you will get to find out who are the people that should be brought forward as leaders? Who are the people that should be given extra training? Who are the people that should be focused on? Who actually doesn't know about the company or you assumed knows about the company but doesn't actually understand? So this is what I bring to the table and you'd get to see on the fly, you'd get to see recommendations and suggestions and areas to improve. So it's going to be one day of learning, growing and complete exposure to knowing where you actually stand. So by telling him this, by telling him that I've done this for 11 years, I've done it with Petrofac, by Emirates Airlines, IBM, Google. So he sees, okay, he has done this with so many companies. And then when I tell him that you're going to know where does your team, your employees, where do they stand? So this would be something of interest to him because he would feel like, okay, he's bringing me something of value. Then obviously the next question that he would ask me, so Loy, if we have to do something like this, what exactly is the costing? Because if I'm talking of one day, it's, you know, I have to consider the overheads for one day, the employees, nobody's going to work. So how do we go about? And that is where the business aspect, the business proposition comes in. So you see the difference between the chronological sequence and the functional sequence. The functional sequence is more hardcore business hustle where you sell yourself and you give them something of value. Uh, the chronological sequence is where you sell yourself and you try to position yourself as a person who gives something of value. Um, Yes, I do understand that not everyone can do the functional sequence because it is where you actually sell yourself as an independent consultant. But I'll tell you this much. If you can position yourself as a person who can conduct a training program, who can give something of value, who can train other people, you'll be looked upon as a leader. And it's harder for someone to sell themselves as a consultant, as a leader, as a manager, than it is to just be part of the organization because today organizations are looking for leaders. So if you were to ask me, if someone asks you, tell me something about yourself, please keep in mind that don't give them stories of where you were born, your schooling, your you know college and all that stuff. Nobody actually cares. What they care about is how can you bring value to the company? What is it that you're an expert in right now? Uh, and give them a sense of urgency that why they should employ you right away. If you were to ask me, I would tell you this much that, um, you know, whichever uh, meeting that I've gone for, wherever I had to sell myself, I managed to do it being as a leader, being as a person who, who showed that I could take on the reins, I could handle teams, I could deliver results. And um, when you position yourself in that way, what happens is you're looked upon as a guy, as a catalyst for change, as a person who can, um, you know, take on shoulder responsibilities and bring about positive results. So I hope this gives you an insight into the two forms of uh, answering the question. Uh, tell me something about yourself and keep in mind, uh, it's very, very important. 
Tell me something about yourself is not just about you informing someone. It is you selling yourself, selling your skills, giving that scarcity, making them realize that I think I need this guy. Uh, I need to employ the services of this guy. I think this guy can bring a change in my company. So let me know what you think uh, in terms of um, uh, in terms of this video. Did you feel you learned something? Do you feel that uh, this is the way that you should answer? This is the way you should sell yourself. Um, you know, do you think that this is the way that a person can position himself as a market leader? So I'd be pretty interested to know your thoughts um, because, as you know, I'm a hardcore hustler. I'm a guy who loves to take charge, who loves to be the catalyst for change, who loves to show that I can be a leader. So do you think this resonates well with you? Love to hear your thoughts. Live from LimeMacita.com. Who's LimeMacita in Think Personal Branding? Let me know your views. I read your comments. Me signing off and up. Take care.